Hey yo, I go on my viewers and subscribers. Zion here coming at you again with another tutorial. And this one is from the cool ruler, Mr. Gregory Isaac. This one is entitled Cool Down the Piece. You know, a little bit of rubber dub, you know, taking it down a little bit for you folks. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Hit the red button right down there. It's right there. It won't hurt, I promise. Hit the notification bell, hit all so whenever I post a new video tutorial, whatever I put here, you will be alerted. I went ahead and I made the track for this one. I rebuilt the track, but I tried my best not to make it too close to the original, you know, because I'm trying to avoid YouTube and this whole copyright strike, copyright claims and whatever it is. I made it close enough so you guys can, you know, recognize it. So grab your guitars, let me show you how to play this one. Let's go! So let's go. Now if you guys want to know what I use to make my tracks, I use Logic Pro. Alright, everybody should be familiar with that by now. Alright. Um, now this song has two simple cards, two basic cards. Right? It has slides and it has some stock lines and all. You know, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to play all that. This tutorial should not be too long. Alright, so um, yeah, and remember guys, do not just get the cards and run with it. You need to watch the entire video, all right, for your sake and also for mine. You know, this is how I get paid or you know, recognized by YouTube. Also, hit that like button. That is most important, all right? Hit that button. Share the videos, you know, tell somebody about Zion Guitar, all right? This channel caters only for island music, all right? So, here we go. Two simple cards. Now... It's in the key of B flat. All right, B flat major. Let me see if I can drop this a little bit because I want you guys to see everything right here. All right, so here we go. All right, so B flat major to C minor. All right, those are the only two chords. And of course, I, of course, I raised the tempo a little bit, you know, because it's yeah, modern time. So <laughs> you try to get a little bit of buzz, a little bit of vibe out of it. So to form this B flat major, you want to come all the way up here to the sixth fret. You want to bar the whole sixth fret with your pointer finger. All right. Use the place the middle finger on the third string. Seventh fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, eighth fret. Ring finger on the fifth string, eighth fret. All right, and that's your B flat major right there. To get the C sharp, to get the C minor, push this position up a hole. You want the mid, the pointer finger to be barring the eighth fret now. So you, the, this finger is going to come here. Which means these are going to come up further, like that. Now that would be a C major. To get the C minor, you lift the middle finger. Hear the difference? To get the C 
7 minor 7 lift the pinky finger. Alright? So, so it's a 1 to a 2. How do you know that it's a 1 to a 2? Because you're in the key of, the song is in the key of B flat major. Alright? And if that's the key you want to do, one, two. Every note rep represents a chord. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, back to the 1, which is an 8, which is an 8, or Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Okay, so in this case we're using Do and Re. Right, remember the root, the fourth and the fifth are always majors, no matter what. Unless they ask you to change it. The third and the second then the, and also the six are all minors. They are so they're always gonna be that. Alright, so we use it Do to Re. So Do Re. Alright? So now those are the only two cards using the sound. My guitar is clean. The only thing I have on it is a little bit of reverb, all right? And it's also plugged in my Pod HD 500X, you know? Um, so, at times I use my wah pedal, you know, just on stage you're feeling that vibe, so you wanna. You know, those are the vibe. So, yeah. So that's it for the cards, all right? So here comes that little part that everybody is excited about, all right? It goes like this. All right, so now, you want to come all the way up here to where you can you place that pointer finger on the first string 13th fret middle finger on the second string not 13 17th fret middle finger on the second string 18th fret all right all right so you want to get Right. So the, the next move is you're gonna slide down. No, this time it's gonna you're gonna open the fingers a little bit. Now that pointer finger is gonna land on first string, 13th fret, and the middle finger is on the second string, 15th fret. All right. So here we go. So far. One more time. Again, all right. The next move is that's your 15th fret, and that's your second, that's your third and fourth string. Or you can play the second string also along with it, it won't hurt. It's a card, all right. Hear that one more time. The last part, all the way down here to the 8th fret. And those same strings you play here, you play them down here. So here we go. This is it. So from here, all down stroke. Then, then you up, up, down, up, down, up, down, my bad. <laughs> so here we go again. All right, and that's basically it. Practice it, practice it over and over and over and you will get it, alright? Try not to rush it, 
you might get a little bit frustrated because yeah, it's a little bit close here, but take your time and I promise you will be okay. Now for everybody's favorite part, the stock lines. All right, so it's a... Alright, you're gonna find that sock line mainly in the verse. Alright, or if you wanna put it in the um the chorus, it's okay because it's basically um the same thing. It's the same chords. Alright, so but there's also another stock line which you can place anywhere. Well, it's kind of an answer in the verse also. It goes a uh, you can double it up if you wanna. So when it goes something like Alright, so let's deal with that one first. Alright, so I'm not going to call the notes, I'm going to play it slow so you guys can see it's like this. If you want to double it up, you know, you play that about four times. All right, now remember. The stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass. So, this one follows the bass. You want to play it right through if you want to. Now, if you have two guitarists, then one can concentrate on the stock lines, which is basically the, um, the, 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 the lead. And the next one can concentrate on the, the rhythm. All right? So now, you will hear the bass. That plays right through the song. All right, so now I'm gonna play it slow. You guys follow. Here we go. So it now as for the strumming, it's reggae, all right? You guys, you understand it by now. You should know how to strum reggae. All right, for the new followers and new subscribers, all right, here it is. Now, when you strike with this hand, you wanna apply the pressure with the with this hand, all right? And you wanna release almost instantly. You can use this hand, also use the palm to help with the muting. So it's all about mute, it's not. No, that's not reggae, it's. Remember when you're doing, you do not have to, don't lift the fingers all the way up. Keep it there. So you basically slide in your hands, slide in your hand up. Because when you start lifting the hand to grab the card there, 
You know, you're gonna start messing up. You know, you got you just got to feel it. You know? Also there's a little bit of slide sometimes. Or there's one that goes. But that's what the lead plays, okay? So I put the pointer finger on the second string, fifth fret, place the middle finger on the third string, sixth fret. Alright? And you slide up a hole, a semitone. That's basically it. All right, you just gotta feel the song, you know, and enjoy. Yeah, man, and that was Cool Down the Pace by the Cool Ruler, Mr. Gregory Isaac. Now, if this tutorial was helpful, put it down there in the comment section. Let me know if you have a request, drop it down there also, and talk to me a little bit. Remember, do not forget to like, comment, share. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. My name is Zan. Blessed love. I have a lot more coming. See you next time.